Hi, this is Christian from Skylife and in this video I'd like to show you how to work with Sample Robot in a semi-automatic way. So what's semi-automatic? Well, uh, normally you record uh, with Sample Robot, uh, you can record MIDI instruments, so MIDI information will be sent out. Uh, as you can see, you can define a MIDI port in this section here. And in this case, I'd like to record a loop, a drum loop from my Deluge, uh, which is a neat little drum machine. So, uh, and a little more. <laughs> so, um, I prepared a project called the Deluge Beat, which basically contains one multi-sample, uh, which is just named MS1. And you can see there's one key selected in here. So, um, when recording MIDI instruments, normally this button is active, so the auto um, button is active, or the auto checkbox. And um, if you like to record acoustic instruments or non-MIDI instruments, just uncheck this. And this gives you uh, a manual recording or so-called semi-automatic recording mode. Um, I just uh, start this uh, in here. I, I did a little bit of settings already. Um, as you can see on the right side, we're in the multi-sample section right now and you have several settings in here. For example, you can define a loop and in this case uh, you have to check this uh, option here, the automatic loop um, function. And what Sample Robot uh, will do if this is checked, uh, it will analyze the bead that comes in and just uh, gives you, or uh, if it's not a beat uh, sound, but more like a, uh, a sustained uh, sound from an instrument, then it will try to find the best match for the loop points. So um, in this case, there's a beat coming from, from the deluge and I um, have set this to an automatic loop and um, there are several parameters that I would like to explain. For example, the loop search length. That is one parameter that is not like, uh, you cannot just easy uh, guess what it is because uh, that's um, part of the algorithm, so to speak. So the loop search length is the pattern after the loop first loop marker is set. So from the first loop marker to the to this loop search length, there's a pattern. And this pattern will be recognized in the rest of the file. And the best match uh, delivers the loop out marker. So that's it. And um, yeah, let's give it a try. I just um, hit the recording button and uh, this gives me the multi uh, sample recording dialog in this case and it, we're in semi-automatic mode. That means you get a countdown for your recording. You can even have a tuning oscillator um, played here and to, to, to tune your instruments. In this case we don't need that, we just uh, go on with the countdown and I hit the play button as soon as the countdown um, is over on my deluge. So Okay, I stopped the playback and um Sample Robot uh, did the, you saw this little bar in the background. That was the analyzing of the waveform to find the loop points. So I call that just beat one. Okay, and um, I keep that. And as you can see in the background, uh, Sample Robot has recorded this beat from the deluge. I play that. And as you can see, Sample Robot already recognized where is my uh, loop, where is the best way to uh, match um, the loop in and the loop out. So um, there are some really nice uh, little tools in here. For example, the uh, loop search results. 
So as you can see, there's uh, some other loop alternatives in here. Uh, some of them might make sense, others not. But uh, you have the option to really um, toggle between all those different uh, loop search um, results. And this gives you several options. Um, there's also an option to uh, work with special areas in the sample. So for example, if you would like to uh, do another search within, the, within this uh, area, you can move the markers as you desire and um, do a new search if you like. You just hit the find loop out button and then you get another five results for the best loop matches. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have um, also the option to zoom in. This is done uh, via the right mouse control. So the right mouse button and uh, holding the button and um, moving the, the mouse left and right or holding the shift key and moving up and down uh, gives you the overlay function of sample robot. So um, yeah, that's, that's it. And if you'd like to manually adjust your loops, you can switch on the loop overlay. And in here you see uh, that's the match sample robot had done. So um, the white waveform gives you the start of the waveform, so the start of the loop, and the green waveform is the real waveform at that time. So when I move the loop marker, the loop out, you can see the pattern as close as the pattern gets, or as if, if the match is best, then you see the loop will be inaudible. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can do semi-automatic recording with Sample Robot. Have fun!